from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories. They have the numbers. They're expected to get it approved. The House meets this morning to debate the resolution, which will extend the COVID-19 emergency orders to May 23rd. The opposition not expected to support it, but government members are expected to do so. Attorney General Carl Bethel has told the media the restrictions have worked for us so far. We know that the discipline of the uh, emergency orders has brought us this far and has kept our numbers relatively low. We have not had um, the kind of uncontrolled surges that you see going on in Europe right now. And the AG is telling the country that it's not long now and here's why. We only have a little more ways to go before we can begin the process of mass vaccination, hopefully. When that is done, then it will be possible, it will be reasonable and it will be justifiable to further reduce and perhaps even eliminate the emergency orders. But let us get to the stage where Bahamians are protected. The House meets at 10 this morning. That resolution expected to be approved and sent on to the Senate. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Health officials releasing the latest corona numbers. Six cases on Sunday, seven on Monday. Cases reported in Grand Bahama, the capital, Andros on the Barry Islands. No major hospital issues. Twelve persons being treated. No one is in the ICU. No other deaths reported. Just over 1,100 active cases. Almost 7,000 persons listed as recovered. Health Minister Wells tells the media they're working on getting a vaccine in country. No clear timeline as yet and no decision yet on which one. He says the discussions are ongoing. As for further travel restrictions from countries with new variants, the minister says the government has not made a decision on that as yet. Meantime, there's pushback on the current funeral rules in place, and it's coming from the Christian Council. The president, Bishop Delton Fernanda, telling the media the current rules don't make any sense. Those in the industry may not agree with him, but Labor Minister Folks tells the media he's optimistic about the return of jobs in the tourism sector going forward. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area, mostly sunny again today. Highs from the upper 70s to low 80s, 78 at Freeport, 79 in the capital, 83 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. High tide now, the next low around 1 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the mid-60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. Insurance Management wishes everyone a safe and prosperous 2021. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. They offer a wide range of insurance products. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. More than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Looking for a home, lot, or condo? Then pick up a copy of the Tribune's Home Buyer's Guide. Every Monday, your number one source for homes, condos, lots, and home care needs. Open the door to your dream home. Plumbers, electricians, tilers, and contractors. It's the perfect place to advertise your business. Call us today at 502-2356 to book your space in the Bahamas' leading newspaper. The Tribune, the people's newspaper. Wednesday's World News headlines, U.S. President Biden taking major steps to try and slow the coronavirus spread in our country, where more than 400,000 persons have died now. He's ordering ramped up vaccinations across the country. That while other countries continue to struggle with the spread, the British considering additional restrictions after they crossed the 100,000 mark in deaths. The government of Peru has ordered complete lockdowns across 10 states as the second wave of the virus rages there. Tribune's gas tracker prices, middle of the week, Shell 391, SO402, Rubus $4.01 per gallon here in the capital. Now your sports notes, brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section, an update on LaShawn Higgs. She's playing basketball in Europe, remembering Kobe Bryant. He died in that helicopter crash a year ago this week. The Tribune has some memories. There's the NBA update in the Tribune Sports and a preview of the upcoming Super Bowl game 
between the Tampa Bay Bucks and the Chiefs being billed as the battle for the ages. Get the facts and figures and the keys to the game in the Tribune Sports Wednesday. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com. On the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.